Yo guys, what's up man? I'm back already now. This time I'm back with the Grandmasters Gone the Avengers Challenge, whatever it's called, the Classics Challenge, the Karate Mike Karina's Challenge. So it's gonna be a long one, but I made it a little bit more concise than others just to give you the small bit just to give you little bits of each fight. Mainly the ends to um just to make it concise. So starting with Doom, um I use Hawkeye, so I'm just gonna go through I'm gonna give ratings to each fight actually. So for Doom I would say I mean I mean there's a lot of things there's a lot of things. You just there's um the whatever the black block node is called, I forget, but you gotta worry about that block and with Hawkeye you just throw special threes. And just do bleeds and kind of wait it out. I got a pretty good solo that time, but I would give that Doom fight probably like a 6.5 out of 10 because it was kind of annoying, but it wasn't like super hard. But it was pretty annoying. And now for Terax, I mean, yeah, we're moving on pretty quickly, but there's just so many fights. So for Terax, you just gotta use Thor. You're gonna die, obviously. I, he's not my um, champions. Also, all my six stars. These are just um, rank fours. Uh, and Black Widow is the only one that's 6200 because you you need her to be high sig, or at least 6200. I don't know the exact requirements, but um, I I just heard 6200 is the best for her, so I just did it for this um this one, this challenge, and I am dying here. So you just I mean you can use like anyone, but Thor is really gonna you should just just use Thor because that's he's really gonna work the best here. So I just. I'd go for I just go for normal special, just kind of wait out his rock field when I was like about to die, and then here I go for special threes like when we're when like he's really close to dying, but I'm also close to dying, so special three guaranteed stun. Now I'm backing up because um, I'm taking a lot of damage from the rock field, so I'll throw occasional um, heavy attacks when it's um, like when it's necessary, but here I kind of went for it, so. Hoping for a special 2, or a stun off my special 2, which I don't even know if I get, because I just end up killing him. So that fight, I would give it like a... I'd give it like a 7 out of... No, I'd give it like a 6 out of 10, because Thor is, um, worked pretty well there, uh, compared to Hawkeye, which is a little bit more tricky. Um, but now we got Vision. I mean, he's pretty much already dead. There's Surging Vengeance, and that's basically like the whole thing. And uh, I'd, I'd give that one like a 5. I know there's a low ratings, but I mean it gets it gets harder. So um, it kind of I mean, kind of varies actually. So there you just use revives, and Thor does a great amount of damage in that fight. And now for Modok, um, second to last on the first path, I use Black Widow. She's gonna help with that sig level, stop the um, auto blocks. Um, I think maybe he triggered auto block twice in the whole fight. Out of like the 50 times he tried triggering it, he only triggered it like twice or once maybe. But um, Black Widow, obviously the numbers are not crazy for a rank 4, sig 200, not ascended though. But hey, I don't know why I went for this, it's kind of dumb. But it ended up almost working out, I, I died, almost, maybe I think I think I, I did die. So, this fight, out of 10 I'd give it. This is all difficulty, by the way. Difficulty level out of 10. So, Modok, um, I'd give this one like a 4. Or, I'm just like, with using the champions that I use in everything. So, I'd actually give it, I'd give it a, I'd give it a 3, actually. Because, 3 to 3.5, I don't know. Because, here, I'm just going to finish it off with Hawkeye. But, with Black Widow is pretty easy. No auto block. Just pay the special ones. Actually, I'd give it a three and a half because I got clipped by a special one sometimes, which is kind of annoying. So moving right along to Spider Ham, Black Widow again. Um, this fight, it wasn't like super hard, but it was it was really annoying. So um, killed him off. I'd give that fight like a six out of ten because you just keep having to bait special ones just so you don't get hit by a special two, or you, so you just bait special attacks like the whole fight you throw your own so it's kind of it's like a really long fight it's probably like one of the longest if not the longest fight in the whole gauntlet and now we got weapon x so the first iron man fight obviously iron man's gonna be like your best uh champion here 
to use because he's reworked. And for Weapon X, um, he's gonna go Berserk mode at 25 charges, so <clears throat> you want to wait it out because if you hit him during his Berserk mode, he'll get passive regenerations, which do a lot. But out of his Berserk mode, when it's done, he's not gonna regen as much and it's gonna be easier. So this fight, I'd give. I give a 5.5 out of 10 because it is tricky when it gets berserk mode and kind of hard. But outside of that, it's not too bad of a time. Now for Thing, I'm gonna use Black Widow, of course. Gotta avoid those rock stacks. I'd give this fight honestly, it wasn't as slow as I thought it would be. I'd give this fight. I mean, these are like I don't have much time to think about it. I'm really it's like off the top of my head these are writing so. It's, pretty accurate though so I think this fight would be I mean it's just oscillate and oscillate and like shifting immunities which you're not gonna place debuffs on a thing with Black Widow so I'd give this fight like a 4 out of 10 because Black Widow counters pretty much everything it's just actually I give it a th I give it a yeah a 4 it's just it's just it's not super quick but it's also not super slow so Moving on to Korg, um, another rocky guy. This guy was a little bit more annoying. I think the most annoying so far because he gains block penetration over time. There's shatter, so you're going to have to heavy attack often because, I mean, even though Black Widow kind of prevents the shatter from triggering as well, you're still going to have to heavy to get your maximum damage. So, Also, the rock stacks, um, I mean, I don't even know. Thing and Cork both have rock sacks, whatever. But, um, it's not gonna be as annoying with Black Widow. It's just another tricky ish fight. I give it a, I give it a six, I give it a six out of ten because Black Penetration is kind of annoying. But now we're on to the first Ant Man fight. Also, this is with like 30% champion boost, 20% health boost, and 15% um, attack boost. Maybe with some special attack boosts for the classes. But I didn't really use those that much because I kept switching who I used. But this fight, I mean, I'm about to die. Or actually, you know, I don't die because special three does damage. But if you have enough health, also it's a seven star and I'm boosted. But you know, it wasn't um gonna kill me. But Dragon Man, I would say I thought he was gonna be the most annoying, like most people say, and it looks like he's the most annoying, but. I don't think he is. I would say this fight is a lot of power game, and he's stunning me, which is kind of annoying. And it took a couple revives, so it's just kind of sluggish fight. I'd give it a, I give it a, uh, man, I think he's even sixes. I'm gonna give it a 6.5 out of 10. Now we're on to the Black Panther. Um, after, all you gotta do is get one heavy attack off with Hawkeye, then you slowed, and all you gotta worry about is the regen. And actually, you don't even have to worry about the region. You just got to worry about that unblockable passive. And after you finish that fight, um, it's pretty. Hawkeye does a lot of damage, man. I'm not gonna lie. He might like. He has a lot of damage here. So now we're at the halfway point with Nightcrawler. This is one's a. Um, this one's kind of a breather. Um, you want him to get in his non-evade mode, which I think I don't know how he can switch. I'm pretty sure it's like holding, he holds block like normal, and then also if he lands a light ending combo on you. But I wouldn't risk getting hit. I think I think I would just just hit him while he's stunned, and you could take some chances, hope, hoping he won't ev evade. But this fight was, I mean, there's not much going on here. I'd give it a, uh, the way, like, this, exactly based on my experience, I'd give it a. I give it a 4 out of 10 because Nightcrawler's Evade is like the only annoying part about it. I don't even remember anything else. It was just, it was pretty simple. So, after that, we've got Spider Gwen. Now, she is always annoying. She's stun immune, and then for like, she's stun immune for a certain amount of time. Then, all you gotta do is stun right here when the timer's down. And throw your heavy to place the slow as I'm about to do, I think. Or you can throw your striker. No, she's actually going to die. But I give this fight um, a 6 out of... Or 5.5 out of 10 because her evading is pretty annoying. And, um... Yeah, it's just... It's a little bit tricky. One of the trickier ones. Um, 
based on trickiness level, if I'm, you know what I'm saying. But now for Domino, this one's pretty fun, actually. It takes a while because there's Matador and Power Shield, so you get you need some patience. But also you get some critical failure with Iron Man, but I give this fight, um, I give it a, a 5 out of 10 because Domino, you know, just a regular kid, it's the most annoying power here pretty much. You just need some patience, and I think I soloed that. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure I soloed that. It was a pretty, pretty good time. Now we're on to Mojo with Ant-Man, and this one is just like, this is like like a mid, mid tier fight. I mean, I get hit really bad here. I don't die, though. So you just want to throw Power Stings, and you can apply your Poisons on your Special 2 with your Fatigues as well. You just got to intercept um, with Ant-Man to keep the uptime on your debuffs, which I learned. Learned. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I mean, it was just a very, it's kind of a calm fight as long as you just, you know, it's just, again, this regular kit is like the most annoying thing. So that's really all you got to worry about. I give this that one like a 5 out of 10. And now for um, Immortal Abomination, I mean, look at this, just Power Drain and also... With the Black Widow synergy, you get poison immunity against non-mutant champions with Hawkeye. So, um, don't worry about the bleed and poison node or whatever. Don't worry about that node on this fight because you won't get you won't get poison on you. You might just get some bleeds, but you won't you won't. I don't think you'll die. You just gotta worry about a normal kit like a regular. And I get that fight uh, five out of ten. It's still a little bit a little bit tricky. For Apocalypse, man, this fight was a breeze. I'd give this one a. 2 out of 10, <laughs> because, I mean, like, I'm, I'm able to get all my armor up, pauses, um, the armor breaks, you just play normally, man, I don't even know what the nodes are here, you just play normally with Iron Man, and it's pretty fun, so, that's probably the easiest fight so far, and now we got Sasquatch, this one was a little bit icky, it took a little, it took the longest, I mean, I should have recorded a little bit earlier for all these fights, but, um, there's a life cycle, you just gotta worry about life cycle, obviously, Make sure that you can kill him off and worry about his passive regenerations. I don't really know how to deal with it, but I just threw special ones and kind of cancel out sometimes. But after you're done with that fight, you got three more to the boss. And I'd give Sasquatch, um, I'd give that fight, uh, I'd give it like a 6.5 out of 10 because Sasquatch is very annoying. Um, actually, I'd give it, I'd give it a 7. Actually, no, a 6.5. It's not that hard, but it is pretty annoying, so... Now for Killmonger, I'd, I'd actually say this is the most annoying fight in the entire gauntlet because you can't throw special attacks because you need to place um, its Poké Dot power and then also you need Thor so he doesn't activate reverberation and also you get bleeds for um, parrying or blocking I think so all you, all you do is throw heavy attacks and normal basic attacks. And you have to parry to make sure you have an armor break and you throw your striker so it's not that fun i um it's it, it gets pretty it gets annoying but it's not super tough so i'd give it a seven out of ten it's just it's just it's just annoying it's it, it's not it's not a fun time but it's, it's it's not that bad though because now we're on to void and Void has an another power shield fight, which is kind of fun, but one thing I don't like about this fight, I was just kind of pausing here, I, I kind of forget why, but um, you get weakness, so it's that weakness if you're close to him um, type of thing, and for every debuff on you, Void's going to do damage to you, obviously, and then he also has his normal debuff, so I decided to let, let myself die there, because I'm like, there's no way I'll survive that. And you can use like anyone here, but I think I think Hawkeye would work because Power Shield plus his bleeds is pretty good. Um, he has the poison and bleed uh, shifting immunities thing, so only place bleeds during his poison phase. So that way you can get the most damage out of Hawkeye. But you can use anyone. I, I'd recommend using Hawkeye. I just don't want to use any revives. I want to see if I could do it with everyone else, which I don't think it worked here with the Man. Maybe it did. I forget. Uh, it might have, I don't know. But, um, it's just, it's just gotta worry about your health. Um, make sure you get your debuffs off of you. Um, don't stay too close to him all the time. Get some distance here and there, obviously. 
and just yeah, yeah, man. I think Hawkeye's. Is, I would say for the Gauntlet, obviously Iron Man is great. I'd say Hawkeye is the true MVP. His he has a lot of damage, man. He has a lot of damage. Um, but I'm not gonna use him like anywhere else, really. But he has a lot of damage, man. He's really interesting. A power drain, a lot of bleed damage. He's pretty fun in here. And as you can see, Void is so close to dying. I'm gonna die. But I end up uh dying. So yeah, he's at one percent. That was that's why I mean that's that's literally the example of why this fight's so tricky. So I end up popping a team revive and man, I bought two of the potion bundles from the event quest. So I did two difficulties and I may need to do another one for the Zemo challenge, which I'm thinking about doing today, and I'm probably will stream it because um why not man? Why not stream it? That's just that's just yeah, like, why not? I don't, uh, I, you know, also maybe, maybe I want to do it on my own time and whatever, but why not stream? Why not? So I'm, I probably stream that possibly today. So going with the airman again, he's dead. And after this, I give this fight. If I, I think I, I didn't rate it already. I don't think, um, I'd give this fight a six out of 10 because if I just used um, Hawkeye, it would have worked way better if I only used him. But for Nick Fury, it's just play normally. He has um, some regeneration, so it's whatever. Play normally with Iron Man. I think this fight is a 4.5 out of 10 just because you got to worry about his normal kit. I like most of these fights. Worry about the normal kit. And that will do it for one of the objectives. Now, the final one is the Thanos fight. Nameless Thanos. Also, I've never completed the gauntlet, so I'm going to get all these good rewards and chests. I mean, they could be updated, but it's not they're not horrible. You'll see. I think it's like one tier six basic, one tier three alpha, a six star nexus, 35,000 six star shards, maybe or 30,000. Um, a rank one to two six star gem and some other stuff. Um, also, like a lot of gold, like 4.5 million gold or something. So it's pretty good, but. I'm really mainly concerned and focused on the Karina objective. Now for Thanos, I I didn't like watch any guys really. Uh, I didn't really know what I was doing, but I used everyone I had. So Hawkeye, I used everyone. So I saw Nagase. I saw Nagase solo this guy with Hawkeye in like a minute. So I mean. Maybe if I stick with Hawkeye, it could have worked, but I didn't. So now he goes into his first phase, which is the evolution armor. He's just gonna he's gonna auto block every so often with that t blue timer, and then also when you parry, I think you apply a bleed on yourself. So and also he gains a passive. He's getting passive power. So I sh yeah I should have just went for my special two or three here. See, look, those bleeds. I should have just went for special three already. I ended up going for it. Get that only 12% bonus, so I won't get a lot of damage. But I really could have only used Hawkeye, man. I just, I just didn't know. I didn't know that Hawkeye would have destroyed this fight. I thought, I thought Iron Man was the best option, so I was just using everyone. But I died stupidly here, and I don't know if I used Hawkeye again, but. Thor actually seemed to do the most work for me, I'm pretty sure. Um, the armor breaks are pretty nice, and all I did the whole fight was... I was like, alright, let me not let him use a special attack, because anytime you use a special attack, it just it's annoying, so... Special 1 is going to be a, a little bit hard to dex, and he's going to activate his evolution armor. See, look, I, yeah, I just... It's exactly what I said, so... And special 2... Um, as you're gonna see in this next phase, I think this, I don't know what gem, this is like the war, or I don't know, I don't know. But, this phase, you don't gotta worry about the degen, you're gonna gain your health back, but he's gonna be evading, and then special two is gonna be like an illusion type thing, so you can't like dex it, I don't think. And also it's unblockable, and it's, you take a lot of damage, I think you, you might, you guys might see in a second here. But I just, I just tried not letting him use any of his special attacks but special three is actually surprisingly the most easy and like best one to eat to the face because look there it's like you can't even dex his attacks in the special two 
He evaded, like, all that stuff that just happened. I don't even know. I'm just like, alright. Based on that, let me not let him use a special 2 again. Or let me just at least try. So, um, just playing Thor normally. Thor actually is pretty good in the gauntlet, but still, I think Hawkeye is the MVP. Um, hopefully Thor gets a rework. If anyone needs a rework on my team, um, the Vince Avengers team, it should be Thor. He, I, I would, I mean, we're getting better a bill, but Thor OG, come on. Come on. Come on, guys. You gotta rework him. Come on. Come on. Like, seriously. Um... Here, though, however, I go for a special three, just get that stun. I'm not letting him use any special attacks, just doing my normal damage. And it's working out. You can, you can kill, like, there's no damage cap, so it works out. But as you can see, yep, the special two, I just, I, I don't know. I don't even know what happened, so. I come in here with Iron Man, which I feel like, I think, finishes the fight off. Yeah, pretty sure. And now he's at his War Stone, the final phase, I think. No, I think it's the Death Stone might be. So, I thought I could raise his abilities, but I can't. And actually, no, I don't. I don't solo him with Iron Man here or whatever. I just die. So, yeah, this phase is annoying because when he uses special uh, three, I think, and then when he starts in the fight, he'll have that Death Touch. So, that's gonna make it. It's not like if he hits you, like it. It's like, it's not that one though, it, this is about if he hits you at all, like in the block or anything, you immediately die. So, you can hit him, but you, you just cannot let him hit you when he has this like 5 second passive. So, luckily he doesn't throw a special attack, and I bait it out, um, wait out, I mean I wait out the death touch timer. But the special 3, you can only take max 10% um, of your health. If you're using an Avenger tag champion, so you're only gonna take 10% from or health from that special three, but he's gonna have his death touch ready. So just gotta manage the death touch, but you can take the special three. You can just tank it. So it's pretty nice. Um, and Iron Man's armor breaks are gonna finish this guy off, but I'm gonna have to wait out these special threes, not let him touch me at all. So I end up. When that happens, when he activates his uh, death touch, I just kind of throw my specials and so that way I waste time, but also do damage. And I'm looking pretty good here, man. I got some armor breaks, and this fight's pretty much over. I end up getting hit, though, which does, like, more. I mean, that did, like, 10% damage itself, so. I mean, this fight is annoying, but it's not... I'm out, I'll, write, I'll, write, I'll write this fight, too. I would say this fight... Um, I actually say this isn't the hardest in the gauntlet. I'd say this fight's like a 6.5 out of 10. Just, I think the last fight is actually the easiest, but look, um, 10% health tier, whatever. Throw a striker, and it's done. Challenge is finished. Um, I think this challenge only, actually this challenge probably, I think it took like, I don't know. Um, I think it took like four hours three to four hours but i took breaks in between so look at all those rewards man very very nice i'm not gonna name all of them off but very very nice including a seven star that we have to open too so here come the rewards after all that nice content that was actually pretty fun but i get the selector i don't know why i pick jabari panther because um i mean after the Zemo challenge, I, I, mean, I should have put Tiger here for the SIGs. Because you can get Jabari as a 7 star. But after the Zemo challenge, I think I'm going to do Mojo. Because I got him as a 7 star. And then I'm going to do that Jabari Tiger challenge. Which is probably the hardest. Because my Tiger is like rank 3. And my Jabari is literally rank 1. So, um, not even a 7 star. So, yeah. We're almost halfway there to these... 7 star selectors, which I don't really, honestly, I don't care about too much. They're nice, but they should have been like, like, they should have been like Adam Warlock. Like, it should have just been better. So, um, it's, it's good, good though. Those are good champions. But with two, uh, fe featured opens for Destroyer Man, I get Prowler in the first one. And I'm not, I mean, I'm gonna keep opening these until I get Destroyer. I have opened like, 50 or 6, I don't know, that might be a stretch, but like 50 of these to get Destroyer, and I, I 
Come on, man. I just need destroyer. So I don't know why it's so hard. But I don't get him uh, again. Whatever. It's pretty heartbreaking. But whatever. Like I said, whatever. It is whatever. So now we got a seven star to open, and that will do it, man. Hopefully you guys starting my outro now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and this helped you out. Um, I think it's a pretty fun challenge. Maybe the I don't know if it's the most fun, but um, it's a pretty fun challenge. And I get my 7-star uh, dupe on Null, so that is great. I might take him to rank 2 someday. I don't know about right now, but that is a great dupe. I love that. And I, I don't play test them yet. I also take 0 to 6200 for the next challenge. So, um, I might stream that. I may not. I don't know. We'll see. So, just keep an eye out. Thank you guys for watching this video. It was pretty fun. Hopefully, you guys have a great um, rest of your weekend. And I'll be seeing you guys very soon.